shooting investigation. The past few days, neighbors are uh, a little on edge at the Monticello Apartments. Yeah, there was a shooting. It has them talking about what happened. 27 First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner was listening, expressing about listening to their concerns about safety in the neighborhood. We moved here from Salt Lake City, Utah. We moved here because it's supposed to be safer. Obviously, it's not. Last night, there was a shooting at the Monticello Apartments that sent one person to the hospital. Carlton Council Jr. and Mark Juan White were both charged in the incident. They were arraigned today in the Gerard Municipal Court, but this was not the first shooting in this neighborhood. In fact, this is the third shooting in the past three months. And neighbor Katrina Flavel, who says she is concerned for her children's safety. Especially since most of the shootings seem to happen on this side, and those two windows are my kids' bedroom windows. My bedroom's in the front of the house. I don't hear everything. Flavel says her kids always play outside with other neighbors, but after Saturday's shooting and police finding shell casings at the playground, she worries about what's next for her and her family. All it would take is one of them getting up and wandering around in the middle of the night. I have fought too hard for my kids. Liberty Township Police Captain Buhala says the investigation is still ongoing, and as of now, they're not sure of the motive behind last night's shooting. We're definitely going to be increasing patrols in that area. Um, we've already put out an email to all the officers to be vigilant in that area, especially in the evening and nighttime hours. I would like to see this neighborhood made safe. I would like to go to sleep at night knowing that I don't have to worry about my kids. In Liberty, Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First.